All right, the Nokia 900 finally has MMS, which is actually really easy to uh, configure. I'm gonna give you guys the settings for T-Mobile MMS. All you gotta do is go to the uh, application manager and install FMMS under the uh, extras repository. After you do that, you open the application itself. hit FMMS on the top and hit configuration once configuration comes up the first thing you're gonna add is your telephone number second thing on the connection mode make sure you leave it on havoc what it does is op it opens a second connection and you can um, send an MMS while you're actually using the data for something else so, third thing is uh, the resize image width just leave it on original it should be fine uh, currently I haven't had any issues and I'm still uh, sending the 5 megapixel pictures that I, I'm currently taking under access point hit configure access point name it's gonna be epc.tmobile.com you can also use the WAP address which is wap.voicestream.com under proxy, you're going to use the uh, T-Mobile proxy, which is 216.155.165.050. I don't know if you guys can see it, <clears throat> but I will add them anyways. The proxy port is going to be 8080. And the MMSC is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 216. Dot one five five dot one seven four dot eight four four slash servlets four slash MMS. That's it. Now you're set and configured. Now there's uh, two downsides to this. The first downside is that the MMS is not actually integrated in the phone it's actually going to be an application so in order for you to use it you're going to have to open an application to send MMS to receive it's fine it would actually come through the SMS um, as a um, as an alert I guess and you can just open it it will open the application for MMS and you will it will download it by itself you have to do nothing else on that the second thing in order for you to send something you actually have to open the application and then do a file search um, unfortunately if if you want to send let's say a picture let's say you want to send a picture um, you hit share send via Bluetooth send via email and share via service there is no MMS in there so you know there's a couple of downsides but otherwise it's fine it will work and it might get an update later on where it will be updated um, and integrated into the phone itself Alright, hope that helps. Take care.